A global technology outage has disrupted companies around the world, including airlines, banks and hospitals. The cybersecurity from CrowdStrike says the outage related to Microsoft cloud based services was not caused by a security incident or cyber attack. CBS News correspondent Bradley Blackburn is at LaGuardia Airport in New York with more on the fallout. Long lines and confused passengers filled airports around the world, from Newark in New Jersey to Pittsburgh and Chicago, even India and Hong Kong. We were hoping that when we got here, it would not be canceled, but it is canceled. Thousands of flights were canceled or delayed. The FAA says Delta, American, United and Allegiant Airlines were all grounded for a period. They said, don't worry, all the flights are delayed. That's what they told me. The outage hit Australia particularly hard, closing down stores and forcing news outlets off the air for hours. It also affected IT systems used by the Paris Olympics Organizing Committee. The cybersecurity firm CrowdStrike says it was caused by a faulty update to computers running Microsoft Windows. We identified this very quickly and rolled back this particular content file. Obviously, uh, many organizations are, are impacted. The problem caused airlines to lose access to check-in and booking services during this busy time of summer vacations. Airlines are starting to recover, uh, but there are going to be some pain points over the next uh, 24, probably to 48 hours. The outage highlights the world's dependence on software from a limited number of providers. It can cause cascading outages, not just for uh, the people who are direct CrowdStrike consumers, but for those that rely on other people that rely on CrowdStrike. The Point Sky recommends if your flight was delayed or canceled to check with your airline and credit card company you use to book in case you're entitled to reimbursement for food or hotel stays. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News, New York.